you tell him, Obama. You tell him. Mm-hmm. The only thing I hate is I thought we'd have some barbecues on the front lawn by now. Dominoes in the backyard. What happened, Barack? <laughs> Making me miss the rest of the game. Run, Reggie, run! Yeah, he done took his talent down to South Beach like LeBron. <laughs> I know this right, Reggie. Go with the money! Oh, boy. Hey! Hey, y'all. Uncle Ian? Hmm? How come I smell smoke? Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody no smoking? You know me better than that, Gene. How was church? Oh, service was good today! Mm -hmm. And that pastor y'all preached his came on! Yes, he did, hallelujah, but... How come I smell smoke? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's just game, them boys is hot. I don't know why you smelling smoke. That's just, just, just game here. Look here. Give me this here. You know you ain't supposed to be having no red meat. Oh, and if your stomach get messed up, don't come to me complaining, you hear me? Woman, my stomach gets cast out. Oh, please. Ain't nothing else in there to eat green cooking for you. Word today. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Tay, Mama, hey, Uncle Lee, how you doing? Uh, uh, uh. Hey, y'all. Hey. Hey, Uncle What's happening, y'all? What's up, Mama Jean? Hey there, Pookie. What you about to cook? Cause this chicken I'm about to cook some pork chops, Pookie. Pork chops? Yes. Oh, that sounds some good. That chicken I had ain't do nothing for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, where is you going in them tight pants? Yeah, see? Huh? What is here? Did you live there? Boy, don't you know I am a trendsetter. Oh. See this? See, everybody gonna go in here. See? <laughs> see, what this is right here? This is Capri church pants for men. You like them? Uh, no, I don't like it. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I think my idea is tight. Oh, tight is right. Yeah, it's very tight. In fact, them pants are so tight. I know in the church choir, you sing soprano. Pookie, where you been? I haven't seen you in church lately. Oh, man, Nellie, you, uh, you think I should tell her? Tell me what? Go on, tell her. Go on, tell her. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, I joined. Oh, a little bullshit. Come on. I joined Faith Temple. Wow! Hey! Oh, you a traitor too, huh? I ain't got nobody to trade with Mama Jean. Let me tell you something. Before you know it, half the family, this whole family gonna be members of Faith Temple. Oh, uh, mm -mm. That's right. Mama Jean, matter of fact, when you gonna join? Uh-uh. Hmm? Don't go there. Oh, oh. Please don't go there. Hold on. Please. Oh, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Oh, he been eating tacos. Oh, Lord. 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 <laughs> hey, mama. Hey, what is that? Sir. Hey, what's up? You want a rap? I don't know that it's just yesterday, my dog. Now, tell me how was service today at the temple, and how much did it cost y'all to get in? Mm -mm, mama, today's service was wonderful. Yes, it was. Ooh, Sam's priest, he told us that it is God's will for us to prosper. Oh, how did yes, he did. Yes. First, it was that face stuff and now it's this. Let me tell y'all one thing. Don't y'all believe that prosperity mess, because God ain't got nothing to do with it. Now, wait a second, Mom. It's all in the Bible that God mm -hmm. wants us to prosper. And yeah. God is not a man that he should lie. Mm, Mama, it's the will of God. I just don't think you have a clear understanding. No, what I don't understand? It's why y'all leaving Living Word Missionary Baptist Church. And Pastor asks about y'all every Sunday. Why y'all want to go to this fly-by-night church? Well, actually, Mama Jean, Faith Temple's been around for over mm. 10 years. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And Pastor Sims is an anointed man of God. Mm. Mama, I have learned so much since I've been there. Well, you go where the Spirit is leading you. All I can tell you is, that prosperity stuff ain't nothing but a gimmick. Cause the Bible said, the root of all evil is money. And God ain't got nothing to do with evil. No, 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 mama. The Bible says the love of money mm -hmm. yep. is the root of all evil. Right. If your heart is in the right place, ain't nothing wrong with having a little cheese in your pocket. That's right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, mama, it takes money to spread the gospel. If Christians don't have money to fund the gospel, then how is the gospel going to spread around the world? Exactly. Sinners are certainly not going to help us. So not. If it's God's will for somebody to be saved, then he will find a way. Just like if it's in God's plan for somebody to be rich, then they will be rich. Mama, God's will is not automatic. 
Mankind has to cooperate with God's will in order for it to come to pass. Now, I mean, I know that it is God's will that Uncle E.B. saved, but look at him. He still hasn't repented. Hey, I heard about that. Who they talking about? Oh, uh, we just trying to figure out when you're going to give your life to Christ. Yeah. Well, God don't want me in heaven. He going to kick me out once. Did you read in the Bible where it says, and be hell, Satan, follow life like that? That was me. Oh, Lord. <laughs> what y'all talking about anyway? Prosperity and how it is God's will that Christians prosper. Amen. Natalie, who told you that? Pastor Sam. Uh, and I'm guessing that in order for you to be prosperous, you got to pay tithes and offerings. Is that correct? Absolutely. Look here. Let me tell y'all something. And I'm going to try to make it as gently as possible. Pastor Sims is a P-I-M-P. Tell me! He is a pimp. In fact, all them preachers is pimps. Especially them prosperity ones. You ain't heard their theme song? I'm your father, call me daddy. I'm that bishop in the night. Oh. Wanna go, so we'll see. Bring your tithes off for me. Money come, come to me. You ain't right. Uh, uh, at all. Look at it. it. It's simple. The definition of a pimp is someone who uses or exploits others for their own personal gain. When you have been pimp, you feel silly, embarrassed, stupid, and it's usually expressed by a certain look upon your face. For example, what kind of car does Pastor Sam drive? Okay, what does that have to do with anything? I'm trying to prove a point. <laughs> now, can I handle my business, please? Go right on. All right. Thank you. What kind of car does he drive? A Bentley. Ooh, a half a million dollar vehicle. Now, what kind of car do you drive, Natalie? An Echo. You've been pill, 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 pill. Look, there's just 3,000 members in that congregation. Hmm? And I mean, most of them pay at least 10% of their weekly earnings every week. Yeah. Uh, while you struggling to make ends meet, he out there cruising around in a Bentley. I ain't hate the nothing. I mean, I always wanted to be a pimp myself. Pop your collar and holler, baby. I'm going to the Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. Stupid self giving your money to them creatures. Oh, look, look. That's Steve Money them on TV right now. Hey, I'm the my nephew. He done made it to the big league. <laughs> He's a big time celebrity. Now, okay, do you ever hear from him? Sure do. Talk to him every week. Send him money and everything. Oh, I'm proud of that boy. I'm proud of what? <laughs> he out there acting like some old heathen. And look at him with his pants all hanging down, talking all stupid. Y'all know I raised him better than that. So oh, did. Mama Dean, you do know his album just went triple platinum, right? Hey, why y'all still live here when y'all have a millionaire in the family? <laughs> <laughs> Stacy, you got your I mean, well, I got one too. I got one too, Stacy. <laughs> now, now, it was there. I don't know, so why don't you go home and find out? Tell him, Mama. Oh, Lord. Oh, not again. Oh, why you put this little Get your hat, get your coat, get on out the door. What is this? What is with him? Right. I'm Anyways, I can take a hint. Okay. I'll yeah. see you later, Natalie. Bye, girl. Bye, Bye. Stacy. Bye, Corey. <laughs> Bye, Bye, Stacy. You want me to walk you out? No. <laughs> Bye, girl. Bye. Me. As I was saying, now I firmly believe that it's not God's will that we should live an extravagant life and live in all these big houses and stuff. God's will is that people be saved and come into a right relationship with him. But mama, it is in the Bible. Pastor Sam said that in order for us to prosper, we have to believe what's in the Bible. Look, I don't give a darn what Pastor Sam said. He ain't nothing but a crook! Now, all these preachers, I get sick of these preachers using the word of God for their own personal gain. You know what, Mama? I'm not gonna sit here and argue with you, okay? The Bible says that a wise man receives wisdom and a fool rejects it. So. Oh. I know you would just call Mama Jean a fool. Well, no, I... Last time I checked, 
I was the wiser. And you better respect me in my eyes. Okay, Ma Mama, Mama, you know good and well I was not trying to disrespect you, okay? Now, I just wish that you had a clear understanding, all right? Of what? Pastor Sims is a good man. Hello, everyone. Oh, hi, Daddy. Hey, Dad. Hey. Hey, brother. Where you been all night? Hey, baby. How you doing? Mm -hmm. Hi. Uh, Uncle Ian, y'all, get y'all please give me and Charlie a moment. Oh, yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Yeah, yes, come on. Come on, Pookie. Come on out of here. Pookie, get on out of here. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? I, I just want the, the pork chops that you said. Boy, you, you better go on off. With them braces. Look at them braces. Look at this. <laughs> All right, y'all go ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you mind? You see me? <laughs> yeah, I see me. Can you smell me too? Because I think I've had an accident. <laughs> hey, hey, look here. Deny everything. Play up, plead the fifth. Get on out of here. Hey, baby. Hey, Chuck. Hey, how you doing, man? Where you been all night, Chuck? Oh, baby, I'm, I'm sorry. I just lost track of time and got caught up, that's all. You got caught up doing what? And please, don't tell me you've been gambling again. Well, well yeah, baby, but I got everything under control. It's gonna be all right. I just had to make some extra money for you and the kids. Extra money? Yeah. Why you just didn't do an investment? Huh? Why you couldn't make an investment or something, huh? You know what? This ain't a habit. This is an addiction. Oh, no, baby. Look, I can stop any time I want to. I even won a thousand dollars last night. So how much you got left? Hmm? Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars? You spent your whole check? How we gonna make it? How we gonna pay our bills with that little money? Oh, Charlie, I am so tired of you. Baby, baby, I'm sorry. I, I'm Look, I'm gonna make it. Oh, God, please. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm going to make it up to you. Baby, come on, huh? I'm going to make it up to you. Uh-huh, see? See what you done did? You done set me up. I hope you see that right there, huh? Uh-huh. I didn't see that coming. Oh, I know oh, you that didn't. was a good man. Time by time. Time by time. Out. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Beyonce. The girl that's pregnant is still fine as hell. Look at that. Mm. Talking about getting that body, huh? Mm. Check mm. her out. Yes, indeed. Mm. I know you saw it at the VMAs. Yeah, that's what I know you saw it. Everybody knows she was pregnant. Yeah, she's pregnant. You know who she's pregnant for, huh? Of course. Mm -hmm. Oh, we know who she's pregnant for. That's right. I knocked off. What? Mm -hmm. That's right. But, but if you... If Future you, baby daddy right here. You know mm -hmm. what? I see you got your little man capris on again. <laughs> if that hurricane decided to make a U-turn, you were definitely dressed for the flood. But you were definitely dressed for the flood. Look here, let me tell you something. Beyonce, that is my future wife. Now, now, now let me tell you something. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. How in the world... Jay Z, look at Jay Z. Yeah, yeah look at. Him. How does he get a woman like Beyonce? Hmm? How he get a fine, supple woman like Beyonce, looking like a camel in the face? Well, he got swag I, and he got money. Swag. Right. Mm, I am the definition of swag. You see what I got on? Hmm? Uh, I think you it's see, the instant feel. You see these clothes? You just swag. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You need money for everything. Yeah, you, mm -hmm. you need women for a, a good job. Right. I mean, you need money. You need money for for, for transportation. Mm -hmm. You need money for good health care. Yeah, yeah. And you need money to get a woman like Beyonce. Yeah, yeah. I wish I I wish I had a plan and had a partner. We can go ahead on and uh, rob a bank. Well, don't be looking at me, fool. I ain't sitting up looking with you. <laughs> nah, I'm just messing with you, man. We ain't robbing a bank. I just want a chance with Beyonce, man. I just tell you, I just she, she give me a chance, she'll leave that fool, Jay Z. I tell you right she now. She ain't going nowhere. She ain't going nowhere. But you know, you sure right. You need money for everything, man. Just don't let money change you when you make it. Oh, I won't let money change me. That like like Donald Trump. Uh, James Jones. Chuck Donald Trump. He go get a uh, chinchilla. <laughs> <laughs> he had a coma before he go get a chinchilla. It's funny to watch his hip. Bam! Bam! Jack me! This game is over. <laughs>
Hold on, that right there. That was nice. Man, you cheated. <laughs> Uh, no, I didn't. You lost. Man, man, look, I'm not gonna sit up here and take that you thinking you cheating on me like that. What you gonna do? I'm gonna pull out my banana clip. Yo, That's what I'm gonna do. You wanna take it outside? Come on. You know what? Take it outside. What did I take? Come on, outside. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Well, I quit school because of me, sis. You wanna go back? Let's go quick. Look, I ain't playing with your pookie. So the flood and stuff. Oh, hey, I'm sorry. I thought you were somebody else. Come on in. Thank you. Hey. Um, hello, sir. My name is uh, Pastor Sims. Uh, I know who you are. I saw your TV program. My name is Edward Brown. Friends call me Uncle E. You can call me Edward Brown. Well, uh, nice to meet you, Mr. Brown. Mm. Um, are the kids here? No, no, no. They went somewhere, but they'll be back in a minute. Yeah. They'll be back in a minute. I know a man as busy as you can make house calls. Well, um... I haven't seen the kids at church for the past couple of weeks, and so I began to uh, wonder what happened. Well, you know, the family's going through a crisis right now, but everything will be all right. Yeah, everything yeah. will be fine. Well, um, I will make sure to keep uh, their prayers lifted. Well, oh, thank you. So, you are grandpa, I mean, pastor. Um, yes, I am. Okay, Pastor Simmons. Yes, indeed. Oh, that's a nice coat you got out there, Pastor. Well, uh, thank you very much. Uh, God has been good to me. He ain't never been that good to me. Look at me. How many times I got to read the Bible before I get a call like that? <laughs> Look, uh, you don't have to read the Bible a certain amount of time. You just have to get the understanding of the Word of God and just receive what God has already done for you. Receive? How do you receive? By faith. All the promises of God have been received by faith. Okay, so let me see. All I got to do is have faith in God, and I can get whatever I want. As long as you're consistent with his word. Is a call like yours consistent with his word? It sure is. Oh, okay. Well, I believe I receive your call. Give me the keys. <laughs> Mr. Brown, you cannot do that. Well, why not? You cannot receive from God through covetous? But you didn't say that. You said all I had to do was have faith. But see, that's why I don't like religion. Too many rules. Mm -hmm. Too many rules. Mr. Brown, let me ask you, um, are you, are you saved? No, I'm not. Do you want to be saved? No, I don't. You don't want to go to heaven? No, I won't. Come on, Mr. <laughs> Brown, you say yes to Jesus. I say no, he say yes, I say no, he say yes, I say no. <laughs> like the truth is, man, by his wife. And I'd rather burn in hell than to see her again. I mean that. It's me. Mr. Brown, you, you don't want to walk away from your sins. No, sir. I love sin. <laughs> it's fun. Hey, Uncle D. Oh, hi, Pastor Sam. I didn't know you were here. What brings you this way, your highness? He came to Colick. Madeline and Corey miss paying their tithes and offerings. Ain't that right, Blair? Uh, no. <laughs> Look, I've been concerned about them. I've missed them at church for the past several weeks. Okay, well, we've been going through a great deal of stress around here lately. Well, I'm very sorry to hear that. Uh, mm -hmm. Is there anything I can do for you? No. No, your, your prayers will be just fine. Okay, well, please know if you need any type of financial assistance, the church will be glad to help. All Natalie has to do is come down to the church and fill out a benevolence form with our church secretary. Fill out a form? What you got going on out there, huh? A church or a cooperation? Sound like a bank to me. No, it's not a bank, uh, nor a corporation. Look, there are still certain guidelines that we must follow. Everything that we take in as well as give out must be accounted for. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, just how much are y'all taking in down there? I mean, with those fine clothes and a nice automobile. You look like you're taking a lot. Well, uh, Faith Temple has um, taken very good care of me. Mm -hmm. Well, well, well. Look around, Pastor. Because Natalie and Corey, they don't live like that. Sure Matter of fact, most of your members don't. Mm. I mean, how can you sleep at night knowing that the people you say you care about is barely making it? Well, um, I can sleep at night 
Because I know that the word of God that I'm ministering to them will ultimately change their lives. The same word that I teach them was taught once to me. And I've brought it to my life. And that's what allows me to stand before you here today. Blessed of the Lord. I, I wasn't always rich. In fact, I grew up very poor. But I took God for his word and stayed obedient with God when it came to tithing. Tithing? I've been paying tithing for years. And I still ain't driving no business. Are you saying that God is a re respecter of persons? No, I'm not. But there have been times when I couldn't pay my tithes. And God, he knows my heart. Well, tithing is not something I only did when I could. Because the uh, truth of the matter is, it's, I spent many of days questioning tithing because it did not make sense to me in the natural. But God, God trusted me with the little bit that I did have and made me ruler of so much. So um, don't judge my harvest because you don't know the seeds that I have sown to get here. The tears that I've cried and the things that I had to sacrifice to be here today. You know, the word of God says, if you sow sparingly, then you shall reap sparingly. But if you sow abundantly, well, you shall reap abundantly. That's what I have to say. Now that's the word. That's the word. I mean, I ought to give you an offering myself. That word. <laughs> But I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, I guess um, I'll be leaving now. Mm -hmm. um, please tell the kids that I said hello. Well, I sure will. You know what? I just want to tell you, thank you for coming. Well, um, you two have a great evening. You too, Your Highness. Bye, Bill. I mean, that's I don't care. I know he wasn't getting none of my money. <laughs> That's one thing I ain't got to do. Ooh, no. Okay. Uh, Ani? Yes. What you getting ready to do? I'm going to come down to the, to the strip club. <laughs> Big Booty Bonita is raising an offering. I will give to. <laughs> Big Booty. Hallelujah. <laughs> All right, babe. Oh, Lord. Hey, Big Booty. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, Oh, hey, Mama. What you doing home so early? Oh, baby, they didn't have that much work. Work was slow, so they sent me home early. Okay. Okay, what you looking for? My organizer. Okay. I think my boss is supposed to come today and evaluate me. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Okay, well, I hope you did your job. Are you prepared? Did you get everything right? No. I mean, I tried everything, and I still can't figure out that computer glitch. And if I can, Mama, that will mean a huge promotion for me and a lot of money for the company. Lord, I hope she does not come today because I am not prepared. Oh, it's okay, baby. You're going to be all right. Okay, what am I looking for? My organizer. Hey, mama. Oh, hey, baby. I don't get, get to see you that often. How you doing? It's so good to see you. Uh, good to see you, Did the mailman come yet? Yes, the mail is over there on the counter as usual. Okay, let me Oh, here it is. This is what I was looking for, right? Here. What's that? Uh, this is my letter back from the Hope Foundation to see if I got my funding. <gasps> well, what does it say? It says my grant request has been denied. Oh, son. I am so sorry. I mean, just just keep on trying. It's gonna be all right. Sorry, I don't understand it, Mama. You know, I mean, I've been I've been trying to get this youth rehabilitation center going for years now, and I just I know it's gonna be all right. Yes, it's gonna be all right. And don't you give up, baby. Please. All right. I'm not gonna give up, Mama. I know that God is faithful, and He is going to perform His word <laughs> in my life. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell me to tell y'all. Pastor Sills came by here today. Oh, yeah? He said he missed y'all at church. 
He said he was coming by here to pick up his tithe. <laughs> now, underline, y'all. He said he was coming by here to pick up the check. Okay, I lied again. Okay, he said he was just coming by here to check on y'all. <laughs> You know what? I have missed two weeks of church with this project, and I'm still not finished with it. Yeah, I wonder did uh, wonder did they receive our offering in the mail? Oh, hold up, hold up! Now I'm just playing. I know y'all ain't mailing y'all money to no church, Mama. Y y Mama, yeah. I mean, the Bible says it's better to give. Then to receive, That's I mean, we right. could make it to church, so we mail it in. Okay, uh, you crazy? How you gonna be sending your money to that church? That preacher don't need nothing. He just left here driving in the building. Mama, you don't need your money. What? We do not tie uh, uh, an offer to a man. We do it to the Lord. Yeah, Bible says that if you give, you shall receive. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together and running over. Okay, and it also says, take care of your responsibility. And that's wisdom. Which means if you got a bill, you need to pay your bill instead of paying your tithe. God will understand that. Oh, okay, I see. That's 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 what's going on around here. That's why we uh, we struggling like this. Mm -hmm. Because you a God robber. Uh-huh, see. Oh! And guess what? <clears throat> They've been fooled on the table and you've been eating, so that makes you a fool robber. Well, Mama, that does not mean that we are not still under curse. Curse? What you trying to say? Mama, the Bible says that when you rob God, you are cursed with the curse. And that the wisdom and the favor that you need to succeed in life is cut off for you because hmm? you're still tired. Hmm? Who told you that? Hmm? Cliff O'Donnell? Oh, no, no, no. Pastor Sims. Hey. See, y'all, y'all have been fooled by them pastors. Hey, Dad. I think your boss put enough outside. Oh, Jesus. Uncle Edie, can you start her for me, please? Cook here, woman. What you cooking today? Oh, oh, man, I got something great. I'm going to get some carrots. I'm going to cook. Oh, yeah, some cabbage. And then I'm going to put some eggs on the wash. Ain't no rabbits around here. I'm telling you, you got to get the dough. Get the dough. Hey, it's damn. Oh, I've been knocking. Yeah. Knocking, knocking, knocking. That was me. Heard you, heard you, heard you. <laughs> I don't think I can knock any louder. <laughs> I don't think, uh, Natalie will be out in a moment. Is there something wrong? <laughs> well, yes. It looks like you haven't cleaned up around here in quite some time. Well, uh, pardon us, but uh, our butler Jeffrey is off for the week. Uh, may I get you something to drink or eat? Yeah, something to drink would be very nice. Okay. In a can, preferably. Gotcha. With a straw. And maybe some crushed ice. I really like crushed ice. Crushed ice. All right. Come on right up. Oh, Mrs. Crushed Alexis, ice. how are you? Uh, please, have a seat. No. Oh, um, excuse the mess. I haven't cleaned up yet. Yeah, I, I can see that, Natalie. No, no worries. No need to clean up on my account, and I will be... Very, very brief. I just came by to see how you were doing with that software. You know, the problem that I asked you to fix? Yeah. yeah. Um, How's it going? Mrs. Alexis, I'm sad to say that, you know, I still haven't been able to find the glitch. However, I do believe that perhaps a better option would be for us to just redesign the system. And that way we could fix the glitch and possibly fix some of the other quirks. Natalie, I didn't hire you to redesign our system. I hired you to maintain it. That means if something goes wrong, you fix the glitches. And I've given you two months. Over two months, Natalie. And if I'm not mistaken, you've been asking me for a promotion. Now, how do you expect to, to get a promotion when all you're doing right now is costing us time and money? <sighs> so I must say that if you don't fix the glitch, you're going to have to find a new place to work. But Mrs. Alexis, I have been working on this project night and day. I've done everything that I know how to do, but this top problem still exists. Well, a wise man once said, if you've done everything you know and the problem still exists, I suggest you know more. <laughs> I love that saying. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go now. Good day, Miss Brown. Uh, 
Uh, hey, it was delicious. Oh, yes, please. Yes. Thank you. I apologize. We're fresh out of crushed ice. <laughs> oh, that's okay. But I got your straw. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Open it outside if you don't mind. Oh, sure. Let me get that for you. Oh, thank you. Yes. You're very kind. Thank you. Have a pleasant day. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. You're all right. So what happened? She put me on probation, and she said that I might need to start looking for work elsewhere. You know, I was beginning to believe that God was gonna help me do well on this project. But you know, now I've blown it. And I just, I don't know how to fix this. Hey, Corey. Hey, Stacy. <laughs> hey, girl. Hi, girl. Hey, Tiffa. I just saw your boss speed off down the street. She looked so mad. What did you do to her? I did not complete my assignment. Wow, you've been working on it for a while. How long is it going to take you? Stacy, I don't want to talk about that, OK? You know what? I just feel like giving up on this. No, see, she was in church last Sunday. Pastor was talking about when you're on the verge of giving up, how it's important to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. That's right. You know, everything in the natural realm is subject to change. We just got to keep our eyes on God and know that uh, he's going to supply all of our needs. You know what? I've heard this millions of times before. You know, due season is coming. Your blessings, they're on the way. But it never happens, Corey. I mean, when am I going to start seeing some manifestation, huh? All of us can choose to be discouraged if we pay attention to what's going on in the natural realm. Jesus said, be of good cheer, for I have overcome it. We have overcoming powers in us. Hey, I just changed my mind. I just made a decision to believe God no matter what. That was a good word, Corey. Thanks. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, we're going to be late for rehearsal. Emily, are you coming? Yeah, yeah. But I, I got to I gotta clean up around here first. Girl, I'll meet you there, OK? Yeah. Well, I'll just see you later. Bye. How about you, Corey? Uh, yeah. No, 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 I, I gotta get back to work. I hope I get this Sunday off so I can come to church. Well, I guess I'll see you then. All right, don't be a stranger. No. Bye. No. Yes. Sorry. Yes, indeed. But when are you gonna play it straight with her and tell her how you feel? I have no idea what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Boy, your nose is so wide open, I can drive an F-150 right in it. <laughs> right there, put it in park. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what y'all laughing about? Corey's in love. Mm -hmm. huh. Who with? Stay sick. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, he is in love with Stay sick. You know what? Stacey. I don't have time to entertain you guys. I have to get back to work. Mm. Oh, fine. Charlie, you really gave us a scale, man. Daddy, what happened? What happened? Tell yeah, us. Daddy, who did this to you? Uh, Uncle E and kids, can y'all give us a moment, please? For Mama? Hey, we hey, 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 do what your mama said. Come on, let's go. Come on. Charlie, uh, what happened to you tonight? I owe some, I owe some money, baby. Money? What do you owe money for? I, I took out a loan. A loan? For what, Charlie? To pay out some debt, Gene. What kind of debt? What, what, what you mean, debt? What kind of debt are we in? Baby, we had all types of financial trouble. You know, my gambling done messed our credit all up. Our credit is shot. I just wanted to take out a loan, you know. I didn't want you and the kids to have to worry about nothing. When I got sick a year ago, I, I thought that was it. I thought I was going to die. I didn't want to leave you kid, you and the kids with all that debt. So, so I, I took out a lot, borrowed some money. Well, why you just couldn't go to the bank? 
instead of have to owe these loan sharks some money, Charlie. Baby, ain't no bank gonna give us no money. We ain't got no credit. My credit is gone. I, I, my gamblers messed it all up. Charlie, what if you would have died? Then what would have happened then? I know. How was it gonna get paid, Charlie? Baby, I know I've made some mistakes. I'm just trying to do what's right for this family. That's all I could do at the time. That's all I could think of. You started gambling to pay off this debt? I just can't believe you. I can't believe you, Charlie. Gene, that's all I could do. I've been struggling for 35 years. Working two jobs, can't even make ends meet. All I ever wanted to do was put food on the table, and make sure you and the kids were all right. I didn't want you to have to worry about nothing. That's what I think about every day, baby. That's what I think about. And every day, I feel, feel less than a man. I just can't. Just can't what, Charlie? I just can't seem to do right by y'all. Charlie, did it ever dawn on you that we have everything we need? Have you? We have two beautiful children. Roof over our head and food on our table. Did it ever occur to you that what we don't have don't matter to me? It's what we do have, Charlie. I'm so in love with. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby.
sure I got everything together for this lottery. Got my holy oil, rabbit foot, holy water, holy Hennessy, hallelujah, and my holy cross. Who is the lottery today? What's happening? What are you in here doing now? Oh, I'm just taking care of my feet, man, trying to get them together, you know. Got a couple of corns and calluses and everything else. I believe you. Uh -huh. You need to let my back. <laughs> the hell, man! What's wrong with you? You nasty and trifling. Feet smelling like a ring contained rump. Ain't nobody tell you digging my bag and eating out of my couch. Ain't nobody say eating out of my couch. <laughs> Get this remote. My channel doesn't come on, folk. I need your help, Uncle E. We about to win this lottery. I'll tell you right now, we gonna win this lottery. I'll pray by your head. Mind him, Lord. Heavenly Father, I come to you not now, but right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, you said in your word that you became poor, that I may become rich. So I'm asking that my numbers come up on this television not now, but right now in the name of Jesus. Mama need a hundred. Hallelujah. Oh, Babosha. Mm, hallelujah. I'm trying to get God to move. What do you Over think? Over some I'm lottery tickets. Over some lottery tickets. Well, you know what? You dumb as hell. You dumb as hell. You really want God to move. I need God to move. Look here, let me show you something. Cause all of that don't even work. See, folk don't know this. Now, if you want God to move, if you're serious, I'll show you something. You show me something. You want God to move? Mm -hmm. Stand up. Stand up. You want, you gonna do it with me now? You I'm, don't know nothing about I, God. I, I'm serious. I'm Look here. Put your hands here. Mm-hmm. You ready? Mm-hmm. Take your butt out, you hear it. Mm-hmm. Now walk. Ah. 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 I'm serious, man. If you want to go out the pool, you got to do that. Huh? Huh? Well, you dumb as hell. You dumb as hell. You got me looking stupid. Hey, look, you got me believing that if you win a lotto, I can save tomorrow. That's what you get making me eat that popcorn. Come on. I'm in the building. Oh, hey! Hey! You well, know, I've been in the gym a little bit. You've been in the gym? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. You change your rap name? You don't know what you're saying no more, huh? What you 25 cents. Mm hmm? What? Boy, you stupid. Mm hmm. <laughs> half the size, half the talent. Shouldn't be rapping. You know what you should be doing? You should be singing. You know people don't know you know how to sing. I was doing nobody don't need to know how to sing. Uh huh. That was it. That, you know, Come on, do it. Back one in time. the day, I wasn't. I don't do that no more. Do it one time for your cousin, man. Come man, on, I'm not boy. singing, man. That's going to be bad for my image. Hey, but ain't nobody here with us. One time for all, like y'all used to do it. Down mm -hmm. on the corner hustling for change. Come on, that was uh -huh. right. How we used to get the ladies, huh? Come on. Gave them that old recipe. Yeah, that recipe. Gave them that old recipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. 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 Do one, one time. That's it. Just one time. One time. Well, it takes a little bit of me and a whole lot of you and a dash of starlight and a dozen roses too. The land of pride, 100 years or two, and that's the recipe for making love. It doesn't need sugar, it's already sweet, and it doesn't need an oven cause it's got a lot of heat. Just add some kisses to make it all complete. And that's the recipe for making love. And if you made it right, you know it. It's not like anything you made before. And if you made it wrong, you know it. Cause it won't keep you coming back for more. I didn't get it from my grandma's book up on the shelf. I didn't get it from a magical or culinary elf. No, a little birdie told me. And that's the recipe for making the Yay! <laughs> yeah, that's it though. That's See, it. I'm not talking about that no more. The hippity hop is all right, but they do wop is last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Hey, look here, look at here, look at here. Right. Hey, what's up, what's up? What's up, hey, how you hey, doing, man? Howdy, man. What bring you down here? Well, I heard the fan was in a little bit of trouble, man, so I can't help, you know, check on my people, man. Oh, see, that's what I'm talking about, man. Yeah. That's what's up. But yeah. you know, we good, though, cuz. We good. Y'all good, man? Yeah. Man, y'all still living in this old house, in this rundown neighborhood, man. You know, I've been trying to hook y'all up for years, man, but Mama Jean won't accept my money. Oh, man. She says it's dirt. Hey, look here. 
I keep telling you, I'll take her share. Mm -hmm. Come on, man, you know I got you, man. What about today, bro, huh? Today? Well, I just kind of empty. Let me see what I got. I might have a little chain. I just stopped at Burger King. Ain't nothing but a short ball for me. There you go, baby. Look, got a little change for you. All right? Lil is right. I used to change your diapers. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. When I send you something, I'm going to send you something good and special. I got you. I surely will. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> but on the real, man, I wish Mama Jean let me move y'all out here, man, for real. Man, you, you know, man, she's going to prove your lifestyle, man. Man, Mama Jean needs to get off that. But just if it wasn't for the dope game, then I'd still be living in the hood with y'all. <laughs> but now I'm in Hollywood, living the life. I mean, popping bottles of Ace of Spade with Diddy on the left of me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Baby on the right. Uh -huh. Man, I got tired of waiting on God to bless me. So I just bless myself, you hear me? You know you don't receive from God what works. The only way to receive from the Father is by faith. Man, I don't want to apply to you if you're a preacher. I mean, come on, there's someone who cares a little harder than me. I mean, driving bidders, arriving to the churches in helicopters, wearing iced out rollers and rings. I mean, what's up with that? You know what? I should have been a preacher instead of a dope boy. <laughs> but on the real, Mama Jean practically raised me, man. And I think it's time that I give back. So I got something for you, Cody. Look, I got an open position, man, for a promoter. And I know you used to promote those gospel concerts. So look, I want you to come on the road. I'm going to pay you $150,000 just to be on my promotion tour for six weeks, man. You said $150,000 for six weeks? You heard? I mean, I know y'all could use the money around here. And look, you can tell Mama Jean that you got a road job and you have to send out a money. I mean, I know she'll accept it from you. Five, man, three, one. Man, cousin, this sounds good, man. But I mean, come on, man. Keep it 100 with me. I know you're still in the dope game. And you out there rolling hard in the streets. I don't know. Why are you asking me questions like this, man? I mean, like, I just give you off. I know you can't refuse. So either you roll with it, or I'm gonna roll on. Cuz, I appreciate the offer, but I don't think so. What? Oh, oh come on, man. So what's wrong with it? What's wrong with this claim? Yo, man. I think this is the decision that God was going me to make. God? Yeah. God? Yeah. Man, if I were you, I would curse God and die. But you know what? It's not about you. Oh, your God. It's about Mama Jean. She needs this money. So let me tell you something. The offer's still on the table when you clear your mind. All right? Pookie, mm -hmm. I'm out here, man. Well, you said curse God and die, you know. I'm going to stay all away from you. Uncle E, I'm out here. All right. right. Go. Be cool now. I take that job, though. Hey, 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 hey. You still having that pool board? Man, you know I'm still having a pool party, man. I know y'all gonna be there, huh? Mm -hmm. You know I am. With my tank top and my thong gone. <laughs> no, 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 I don't. I don't need you to wear though. I have some, but not you. Not you. I got you. You got me. Y'all be good. All right, now. I tell you what, he, he's gonna be the change. He ain't the same no more. I don't even know who he is. I mean, can you believe he said curse God and die? Mm. I'm telling you. He used to be on fire for God. I know. That money got to his head. And now I'm, to be honest with you, I'm starting to think Mama G was right about prosperity. Now, you know what, what it is, is he's just out of balance. Mm -hmm. And he's allowed money to become his source instead of God. Mm. No, Corey. That was a whole lot of money you just turned down. Now, you ever think that maybe God sent him here to be a help to you? It's food for God. Uh-huh. That's all he's saying. He's just trying to help you out. I would took the job. What's up, Natalie? Hey. Well, I'm going to get on out of here. I got to help Mama Jean with some groceries and things. Mm. All right. Mm. I'll see you later. All right, now. Sure. See you later, Corey. I left some popcorn for y'all. Y'all enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Uh, Earth to Corey? What's the matter? Oh, what's up, man? What's wrong with you? Man, I was just, just thinking. Like, I don't understand how 
that we can continue to prosper. And we serve God with all our hearts and we still struggling. Uh oh. All right, what's brought on this discouragement that I hear in your voice? D-Money came through. What was he doing this time? Flashing his cash or his diamonds? All oh, that. You know D-Money. Mm -hmm. He wanted me to curse God and die. What? Are you serious? Yes. Yes, he offered me a job for $150,000. Wow. I didn't take it. Well, you know, Corey, his lifestyle and his heart have completely turned away from God. And he's probably still selling drugs. So you don't need to be around all of that. Man, man, you're right. I just want to know when are we, when are we going to succeed? Corey, you can't get discouraged, all right? And you cannot start to compromise what you believe for money. Now, I don't care if it was $150,000. God has something so much better for you. All you have to do is stand. That's right. Hmm. And don't let them be taking your joy. Shoot. I didn't let those people at work take my joy, not even at Miss Alexis. Hmm. Mm. I heard that. Speaking of which, how did uh, how the meeting at work go? <laughs> they fired me. What? Yep. They said that I was incompetent and unaffected. And uh, I didn't measure up to the company standards. Dang, man, I'm sorry to hear that. That is okay. Because you know what? Christ died over 2,000 years ago so that we could live a victorious life here on earth, all right? Now, he was wounded for our transgressions. Mm -hmm. He was bruised for our inequities mm -hmm. and chastised so that we would have nothing missing and nothing broken. And it is by his stripes that we are healed. So I decided that I'm going to receive the all that God has given to me by his grace. I heard that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm going to start by looking for a job. Hopefully I'll find something in my field. Yeah, well, you better dispatch your angels. That's right. I do it every day. Me too. <laughs> every day. Sorry, put some TV. God bless you. <laughs> what? Where, where, where are you? Where are you guys? All right, don't move. We're on our way right now. Bye. What's up? Cookie, mama just collapsed. Mama, what? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get your stuff, come on, let's go. Go, please. Yes, I just visited her, and she's doing so much better than before. Yes, it's, it's definitely a blessing. Amen. Oh, uh, have a seat. Oh, thank you. So, uh, Natalie, tell me, how are you doing um, financially? <laughs> Not too well, Pastor Sims. I mean, Corey is working three jobs, and it's still not enough. Now, I've been looking for work, but not consistently because I've had to go back and forth to the hospital with Mama. I tell you what, come down tomorrow and see me and bring your bills. We can and will provide you some assistance. Thank you, Pastor Sims. You are such a blessing to me and my family. Just... You know, ever since I started teaching the message on prosperity, many members have been attacked financially and not to mention the persecution many have faced because of the prosperity message. Why is that, Pastor? Well, you know, prosperity is the most misunderstood subject of the body of Christ. You know, most people think that it's a gimmick to make preachers rich. Others feel like it's not part of the will of God at all. But it's written all over the Bible from Genesis to Revelations. Mm -hmm. 
You know, it's just as important as salvation or being spirit-filled. The Lord wants us to be whole in all parts. Yes, he does. My confidence is not in man, it's in God. And it's God's word that's on the line here. He said, if I give, I shall be given unto. It's the integrity of God's word that's on the line here, not yours. But by the way, I do believe that you are doing what's right with my seed. Natalie, I know that you're a tiger and that you believe in the word of God. That's why it's so important for you to trust in his word and stand on the word of God. I do, Pastor. Thank you so much. I am so lucky to have you as my pastor. Our God always allows, allows us to triumph in our Lord Jesus. Thank you, Pastor. I mean, I've, I have really been going through it these last few days, but it's good to know that I already have victory. Oh, wait a minute, Pastor. Before you go, I have something for you. Natalie, it's, it's hard for me to accept this being in the situation that you're in, but I know that you need me to accept this for you. So I will. I receive it in the name of Jesus, and I pray that it multiplies back to you ten times fold. Jesus. Thank you, Pastor. I will see you. I just didn't want to see him right now. How's mama? She's good. I mean, the doctors still want to keep her for observation for a little while. What's with the suitcase? Where are you going? I'm taking a job with D-Money. You're kidding, right? No, I'm not. Look, man, I can't handle working three jobs anymore. I mean, maybe it wouldn't be so bad if they were actually paying the bills. So you're going to go work for that hoodlum? You're going to just sell out like that? Matt, I work 90 hours a week and we're still broke. I'm trying to pay the mortgage, the utilities, and the car. And on top of that, Mama is still in the hospital. I mean, I'm going to hate to see what that bill is going to look like. And on top of that, have you read the mail lately? Final notice, final notice, a final notice. I mean, I have to do something. Corey, where is your faith in God? Matt, I have prayed, I've confessed, sown seeds. I've done everything that I can do. What you need to do is to stay and see the salvation of the Lord. And then having done all you can do, you stand and you stay some more. Look, if you're interested, D-Money said it. He need me pay you some money to sing some hooks on some of his records. God is my source. I'm not selling out. All right, well, I mean, you do what's right for you. Corey. Here's my cell phone, Mama. It's my new one, all right? Corey, please. Call me if you need me. Corey, let's pray, please. Please. Man, I already made my mind up. Don't go, Corey. Corey, please, don't go! Call me if you need me. Corey! Situation 
Jesus and all before me are cast out into the sea. Father, give me strength to know thy way, to know thy word, to accept all that you have already provided for me. I call on the angels. Bring my brother back. Please go and strengthen my mother and minister to my father. I ask this in your name, for you are counselor, master, prince of princes, and almighty God. And you are so good to me. Hello, Mrs. Alexis. How are you? I'm well, Natalie. How are you? Good. Um, Good. Would you like something to drink? No. I wouldn't like something to drink. Um, I'd like to skip the small talk. What would you like? Okay. Well, I called this meeting to let you know that I found the glitch and I repaired it. And why would you do that since I fired you? Do you remember? Yes, I do. But like I told you then, I was determined to find the glitch, mm -hmm. which I've now done. You found the glitch? Yes, and I've repaired it. You repaired the glitch? Yes. Well, let's see it. Here. As you can see, the system works perfectly now. It doesn't look like my software. Well, that's because I redesigned it. It's an all new system and it works without the problems. You did it. You did it. You, you fixed it. Yes. <laughs> you fixed it. Dunn and Associates is finally going to get the contract with Microsoft. You fixed it. And might I add, you got your job back. Uh, not so fast, Miss Alexis. I didn't say that I wanted my job back, nor did I say I wanted a position with Dunn and Associates. Well then, what do you want? Well, I know that Dunn and Associates' primary job is to fix and repair computer systems and software. Mm -hmm. And I also know that Microsoft is one of your biggest clients. And that's who hired you to redesign the system and to fix the glitch. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. But I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. I'm going to give you an office with a window. A window, Natalie. A window. <laughs> An office with a window. Yes. Really? Forget about Microsoft. I'll handle Microsoft and you'll have your office. <laughs> Not too fast. See, what I want is I want to end on the big money. Now, how much compensation will Dunn and Associates receive for the repaired system? No, I can't give you that information. It's confidential, Natalie. <laughs> confidential. Well, then I guess I just can't give you the new system. So, I'm going to ask you again, how much money? $30 million. $30 million? And you have the nerve to offer me an office with a view? Natalie, did you calm down? Just tell me what it is you want. You know, nothing that you can give me will ever be enough, okay? Why don't I do this? Why don't I take this with me and I'll show this to our salespeople, our partners, and they can decide what we should compensate. Oh, no, 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 no. See, I don't need your salespeople or your partners to look at my system. I know it works. You think I'm going to let them, thieves, try to reproduce my system and then cut me out of the deal? Oh, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. So what is your plan, Natalie? My plan? I think I'll go 
go after the Microsoft contract. <laughs> it's very funny. That's very, very funny. So you are going to go to Microsoft yourself. You know, I think you're in over your head, little lady. I really do. You're an unknown, Natalie. Do you understand that? We're a major company. They're a major company. This is who they want to deal with. What makes you think that they're just going to let you walk in the door and offer them your... Why don't I just take this with me? I'll take it with me. I'll show them. Honey, just let me show it to you. Just like God? Gave me the wisdom to fix this system? He'll give me the favor to win that contract. You just watch. So, an office with a view. Final offer? Yes. Well, then we have nothing more to say to each other. Goodbye, Miss Alexis. I'll show you out. Hey, Miss Alexis. You like something to drink? She was just leaving, Uncle E. Stand it, woman. Woman to have <laughs> No, Uncle Lee. I can't. Put a little it. stuff in this bag of popcorn. <laughs> mm -hmm. Think I'm gonna order me a movie? You know what? I gotta call my lawyer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is gonna be dinner for the night right here. Hello? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just had my meeting with Diana Associates. Do you know that woman I had the nerve to only offer me an office with a view and my job back? Exactly. What? They want to meet with me. When? Are you kidding? Oh, my God. Okay, no, 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 no. That's good, that's good, that's good. Just set it up. Great. Thank you. I like to order fat girls like walks on the beach, part two. That's right. Thank you. Yes, indeed. All right. Let's make sure I got everything for the pool party. Yep, extra towels, check. Uh, sunblock, check. Uh, no pepto bismol for my belly. A preparation dish for my booty. And Viagra for the cutie. <laughs> yes, indeed. Who that? Let's get this party started. You say Viagra? <laughs> Oh, what the hell you got on, man? Oh, let me tell you something. Last time I went swimming with y'all, I almost drowned, and y'all didn't try to save me. You just stood there and laughed. Boy, you're dumb as hell. I've told you that before. Look here. We're not going deep sea searching for the Titanic. We're going to a pool party. Yes. I'm just being extra precautious with myself. See, I want to live. You look like a ghetto aqua man that stole Howard the Duck. <laughs> you look like he fought. Mm. Okay, you I know I did. Hey, Corey! What's happening, Corey? What's wrong with you? Apparently, he done lost his manners. Hey, look here. Take my bag. Once you go on without that limbo, I'll be out there in a minute, all right? I'll find you. still under my Viagra. I don't want to back on my All right, now. Well, you to hear me talking to you. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Uncle E. Um, I just got a lot on my mind. How, how you doing? I'm fine. How you doing? Uh, I'm, 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 I'm okay. Good. You been to see your mama? Yeah, yeah, I did, actually. Yeah, she's doing good. Uh, you know, she should be home soon. Uh, did, did Natalie see a lawyer yet? She said something about that, but, uh, what's all that about? Well, I mean, she, uh, she's patenting her idea. Mm. Yeah, and, and, and I, I told her that she should definitely talk to a lawyer before she calls 
than an associate's. Mm -hmm. It's a good idea. Yeah. So how are you doing? Or should I say, what are you doing? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me. You know what I'm talking about. You know, you're the one that's always running around here telling people that you trust in God. You ought to practice what you preach. Excuse me, Uncle E? You gave up, Corey. I thought you could handle pressure better than that. I had to, I had to find a way to take care of the family. I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about giving up on your dreams. Open that rehab center for troubled teens. You forgot about that? Yeah, no, no, I didn't forget about that, Uncle E. I mean, I tried. I, I really tried my best, you know, but I, I, I couldn't get funding. I mean, the Hope, the Hope Foundation was my last resort, and when they turned me down, I just, I, I, I just- Corey, there are other ways of funding. I, I told you about some smaller companies. Did, did you try them? Yes, I did. I sent them a proposal, but I didn't hear anything back. Look at you, man. You don't even look happy, Corey. You look so out of place. Why are you so concerned about me? Because I always admired the way you stood up for what you believed in. Even when D-Money laughed in your face, you didn't budge. But when you took that job, I lost respect for you. Now, I may not know a lot about God, but I know that this is not his will for your life. You know, I know I make fun of y'all. I make fun of you sometimes, but I also admire you because you go through so much and you still praise God and have joy. But you done lost your joy now, Corey. Yeah. I mean, I know that you, you took this job for the betterment of your family, but like you always say, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? for you. All right. Thank you. My nephew. Thank you. All right. I'm gonna go on to this party and get my freak on. You coming? No, no, no. I'm cool. All right. All right. All right. Go for me. All right, now. <laughs> yes, indeed. Don't you do too much. Hey, you just leave some of that $150,000 behind for me. Hey, no aqua boogie. <laughs> All right. See you later. <laughs> Hey, Stacy. Oh my gosh. Hey, Corey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. Oh my goodness. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm house sitting. Let's see. Okay, where, 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 where is everybody? Well, Natalie had an emergency meeting with her lawyer, and Charlie and Pookie took Mama Jean to the doctor for a checkup. Oh, okay, cool. Natalie told me she was finally home. Yeah, she's back to her old self, walking around as if nothing ever happened. <laughs> So how have you been? I've been good. And how's the music business? It's, it's good. How's church? Well, church is good. I mean, Jesus is still Lord. You do know he's still Lord, right? Of course, yeah, yeah. I just lost focus and, you know, let my circumstances take his place. Well, you're back home now and that's all that matters. Yes, I'm back home, but I mean, I'm... I'm embarrassed that I ever left, to tell you the truth, Stacy. I feel like I let God down. Well, Corey, there is therefore no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who are called according to his purpose. I mean, you're still in Christ, aren't you? Yes. Then welcome home. I don't have a fatty calf or a gold ring or anything like that, but I can celebrate you being back in his presence. I needed that. You know, you always say the right things, and you can always make me smile. I never told you this before, but Stacy, you're the reason I started going to Faith Temple. You're the reason why I joined the choir. You're one of the reasons I stopped working for my cousin. Everything I could ever want and need is right here. My, my family, my home, my church, and my woman are all right here. Wow, Corey, I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. 
Just no. That was so sweet. You know, you, he, did, he, he got that off the young and the restless. He did. It sounded like something Malcolm would say. You know, you kind of look like him. Hey! Hey, everybody! How y'all doing? Hey. 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 My baby is home! Oh. Let me get the home! It's good to see you too, Mama. Hey, Mama. Hey, What you doing at Pookie? Look at Pookie. Huh? He's playing some children and shooters. Ah, Lord have mercy. Well, I, I, you know, I had to borrow some of his clothes because I was going to go get a job because everybody else working and I was just sitting around the house. So I just, you know, thought I'd borrow some of uh, his clothes. It is so good to see you. It's good to see you too, Mama. I'm so glad you're home. <laughs> glad to be home. Yeah, but you know why I'm glad you're home. So you can get over there and over with all that mail, go over that counter, just take it over my space. You see all that? You. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. I can do that for you. Good. All right. Hey, y'all, that was that. She said, don't nobody leave. She's got a big announcement to make. Okay. Glory to God. Glory to God. What, what happened? My grant was approved. Oh, 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 Where'd you get back into town, man? <laughs> Got back today. I was wrong for leaving in the first place. Hey, look, don't you ever, 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 ever try to take matters into your own hands. You hear me? Hey, I'll let go and I'll let God. <laughs> that's right, that's right. <laughs> See, the word, the word is always working. I mean, look around. Even when it seems like you're losing, fear not. Have faith, for you serve a God. A mighty God, a God so good yes. that he's willing to stretch out the fight Come yeah. on, just so you could win. Yes. <laughs> and look, you've won. Victory is claimed here, and you have proof of it yeah. in the palm of your hand. Congratulations. <laughs> If I knew you were coming over, I'd have cooked you a meal, a special meal. Oh, no, 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 that's okay, that's okay. Look, I didn't even plan to come. I just received a call from Natalie saying it was urgent for me to be here, so I came as soon as I could. Oh, good, you're all here. I wanted you all here to have special news. I tried to call Corey, but his cell phone is off for whatever reason. <laughs> you see it, right? Uh-huh. Oh, okay, good, good. Everybody's here. All right, I just got out of my meeting with Microsoft. They, they like your idea? We gotta get you a job. They gave you a computer. <laughs> <laughs> they want to buy my system. Oh, 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 Wow. So how much did they give you? Thirty million. Yes, 
So, Uncle E. Yes, sir. Are you ready to be saved here? Oh. As long as I can park my Bentley right next to you. <laughs> Thank you.